What's up guys, it's Jay with Bearded That Fishing and today we're talking about another seven kayaks for big guys and big girls that offer crazy stability out on the water. We did seven kayaks last time and you guys loved them, but you offered me other suggestions for kayaks that I did not consider. So I added the top seven to this list right here and we got prices that range all the way from 5,000 down to just over a thousand dollars so lots of different options out there so we're gonna go over that but first dad joke of the day what do taxidermists do for work stuff We're gonna jump right into this list with number one and we're gonna go from the least amount of weight capacity all the way to the most weight capacity like we did last time. So number one is the Jackson Cusa FD. Now this kayak is 12 foot seven inches long, 35 inches wide, weighs a whopping 107 pounds, just the hull. So that's a pretty heavy hull and it has a weight capacity of 450 pounds. Now one of the really cool things about this kayak is the new drive that Jackson just came out with and it is the Flex Drive Mark IV system and it is really neat. It's a prop driven drive and it's, uh, it, it retracts when it hits something in the water which is cool. You don't see anything else like this as far as those prop systems go and I think that's honestly the highlight of, of that system there. It does have tons of storage space so if you look at the kayak you have a covered hatch in the front a covered hatch in the rear behind the rear tank well so not only do you have that tank well most kayaks just have a rear tank well it has behind that a covered hatch so plenty of storage options plenty of areas to keep extra clothes extra tackle uh, if you're going camping some extra gear or whatever it is so lots of storage space in there it also has an adjustable seating which they call the high low seat slider so lots of options if you want to sit lower higher front and back it has rod tip protectors so that you can store some rods horizontally which is nice and it also has a true line tracking and if you look at the bottom of this kayak you'll see it has almost like a really long skeg that runs a couple feet long the only thing that worries me about that is dragging it across something. I feel like it can wear down rather quickly. But as long as you protect it, I think it's a pretty cool option and it'll make sure that you're staying on track when you're pedaling. And the Jackson Cusa FD comes in at $3,759. Number two is the Blue Sky Boatworks 360 Angler. I know it's a mouthful, but this kayak is something out of like the science book, sci-fi. It is absolutely nuts. It's 13 foot, four inches long, 48 inches wide. Yes, 48, like four feet wide. It's 170 pounds the hull, so it's very heavy, and it has a weight capacity of 500 pounds. It is a catamaran style kayak, so it's almost like, honestly, two kayaks combined with a platform in the middle is what it looks like. I got to see one of these on the water recently, and with the ease that this the guy was Walking around on the kayak just blew my mind away. You could walk from front to back just like you would on a bass boat. In addition to that, it has tons of storage. So not only does it have storage space behind your seat that you can strap things down, you can also strap a cooler or a crate in front of your pedal drive. And it has these storage bins along the side on each catamaran. It has two storage bins that you can put extra lures or lunch or clothes or whatever it is you want to take with you. So if you're looking to take everything with you and the kitchen sink, this is the kayak for you. It's absolutely crazy for storage. And also I should mention, you can store nine foot rods in this kayak and a bunch of them along each side of the kayak. So if you want to take your rods with you and you got you know, 10, 12 uh, rods, you can do it with this kayak. It's also made by Jackson Kayak, so it has the same exact flex drive as the Kuza FD that we just talked about. So it has that cool flex drive that just bumps in if you hit a submerged log or a rock. It has a really nice captain's chair that's a 360 swivel chair, sits super high up, and I'm just guessing here, but it's probably 18 inches high, this chair. And another cool thing that this kayak has is the integrated wheel system. Uh, I forgot what they call it, but it makes it super easy to, to take around with you. So if you have to take it off and walk to the ramp, it, you just put the wheels on and then you just wheel it right down to the ramp. And once you get to the ramp, you take off the wheels and you just turn them and clip them in and then they stay with you on the boat. For such a big kayak, it's a really convenient way to take it around. 
and the Blue Sky Boat Works 360 Angler comes in at just under five grand at $4,999. Next up, number three on our list is the Native Titan Propel 13.5. We talked about the 12 last time, but this kayak is bigger, so it makes sense that we're gonna talk about it. This kayak is 13 and a half feet long, 41 and a half inches wide. It weighs 154 pounds, so a huge, huge hull very heavy and it has a weight capacity of 550 pounds so we're getting into the big boy kayaks right now and i love it so this kayak is absolutely huge ginormous again when we're talking about kayaks that offer tons of stability and a high weight capacity is generally going to be big heavy bulky kayaks but it pays dividends when you're out on the water on a choppy day and you're a big dude like me it makes sense to have a big heavy kayak like that one really cool thing that this kayak has is the seat sliding that goes basically the length of the kayak. So you can, if you don't feel like engaging your pedals and you got a motor or something, you can scoot back uh, pretty far so that you can open up your deck space. So it's really adjustable with the seating system, which I like. It also has an under the seat storage tray and it has a massive front hatch, very similar to the Hobie Pro Angler 14. So a ton of space in that front hatch, which is nice. You can do all types of storage and do through the hall wiring, which I like that when you have that front space because it's easier to access those points when you're running wires through the hall. It also has a cup holder, which I love. I mean, most of these are gonna have cup holders, but I gotta mention it because the caffeination station is real. I take coffee with me every time out on the water. And the Native Titan Propel comes in at $3,149. Before we jump into number four, just a reminder, if you're not part of the group, make sure you join Kayak Fishing Dads on Facebook. It's a huge growing group, lots of awesome guys and advice on there. So if you're not part of the group, jump on over there and join the conversation. So let's jump into number four, which is the Vibe Sea Ghost 130. Now this kayak is 13 feet long, 33 and a half inches wide. It weighs only 71 pounds and it has a weight capacity of 550 pounds. So you'll notice that this hull is much, much lighter than the other options we talked about. And a lot of it has to do with how narrow it is. So at 33 and a half inches, uh, it's pretty narrow, but it still boasts a really good weight capacity at 550 pounds. Besides being the most narrow option on our list, it's also the only paddle only option on our list as well. So it doesn't come upgradable to a pedal drive. Obviously you can always throw a motor on there uh, if you need to, if you want to, you can put the Bixby system on there. So lots of different options, but it does not have a pedal drive if that's something you're looking at. But it does come with a factory installed rudder that is foot controlled, which is real nice. So even though it's paddle only, since it has that rudder, and if you feel like paddling, you can at least control yourself uh, when you're drifting down the shoreline uh, and it, you don't have to install it. It already comes installed from the factory. It also has two flush mounted rod holders. It has your gear tracks and it has a paddle park. So if you wanna put your paddle, it's kind of just right in the bow of the boat. If you're casting or whatever, you could just tuck in your paddle really quick, which is nice. As far as storage goes, it does have a decent sized front hatch that's covered. It also has two smaller dry compartments which is not very big, but it's better than nothing. Any storage is good storage. And lastly, it has storage on the side of the seat for your tackle boxes. And the Vibe Sea Ghost 130 comes in at $1,299. Number five is the Ascend 133X. This kayak is exclusively from Cabela's or Bass Pro Shops. And I was surprised at the amount of people that mentioned this kayak in my last video. So thank you for mentioning it. It is a great kayak, huge at 13 feet long, 36 and a half inches wide. It weighs 125 pounds and has a stated weight capacity of 550 pounds. Uh, it has a really, really big open front deck, which is really nice, uh, huge for landing big fish or just bringing a bunch of stuff with you. It also comes out the box ready for a bow or stern mounted trolling motor. And it includes a yak power system already pre-rigged in the kayak. That's one of my favorite things. If you know anything about me or my last videos, I love yak power. If you don't know how to install those, I'll link my video below uh, for how to install the yak power system on your kayak, but it comes pre-rigged already with it. So you don't have to install it. It's really nice. It also has flush mounted rod holders and four molded in handles. Has a very, very big open cockpit type of design. So huge 
uh, for storing more stuff or bringing more, catching more fish, bigger fish, whatever it is. Very big open design. It also has a dry hatch right in the middle, which is, is fairly large and it's kind of right between your feet. And in addition to that big dry hatch, it has a really big rear tank well as well. Another cool thing that's offered by Bass Pro for this kayak is you can either buy just the kayak at $1,100 or you can buy uh, the whole kit that they put together, including a battery, including the motor, a paddle, and a bunch of other accessories for $2,399. And they have a saltwater version as well, which I believe is about $100 more. And kayak number six is the new Canoe Unlimited. Now I got borderline roasted in the comments of my last video because I did not include this kayak in the countdown. And after doing my research, I totally see why. This kayak is an absolute trailblazer, totally different and an amazing kayak. It is 12 foot, six inches long, 41 inches wide. It has a hull weight of 84 pounds and a weight capacity of, check this out, 650 pounds so absolute monstrous weight capacity perfect for any big guy or big girl out there on the water so it can support all sizes of people and uh, people absolutely love it an amazing feature that also comes on this kayak is the rail space it doesn't just have two or four rails it has 22 feet of installed rail space like out of the factory 22 feet so totally customizable the options are endless with where you want to put your fish finder where you want to put your gopro cameras your attachments your accessories everything and another standout feature about this kayak is the fact that it's totally upgradable so you can start off with the paddle version only which is the same kayak and then later on upgrade to a pedal drive that you can install on that same kayak. So this pedal drive doesn't drop right into the middle of the kayak like a lot of them do. Uh, obviously the pedals are in front of you, but the drive itself sits in the stern. And if you wanna upgrade later on to a power system, New Canoe also sells the power trolling motor, which also attaches to the stern of the boat. So this kayak has tons of storage space, huge open deck, huge rear tank well. It also has a transom that can support a 2.5 horsepower outboard motor. So if a trolling motor is not good enough for you, you could put an outboard on there, which is just nuts. So it is almost limitless what you can do with this kayak. And the last feature I'll talk about is the 360 Fusion seat. So this seat sits up high and it has full back support and it rotates 360 degrees. So if that's what you're looking for with kind of the ultimate in comfort that you can find on a kayak seat, uh, this might be the kayak for you. And the new Canoe Unlimited comes in at just $1,999. And kayak number seven, which has an even higher weight capacity than the new Canoe Unlimited, is the Van Hunk Elite Pro Angler 13. So this kayak is 13 feet long, 35 and a half inches wide, weighs 77 pounds and has a weight capacity of 660 pounds. So again, another absolute monster in the realm of high weight capacities. And this kayak is really unique. I haven't heard about it until I posted my last video and I saw the name dropped in the comments. I thought, well, I better look this up. And sure enough, the kayak did not let down. One really unique feature about this kayak is that Van Hunk offers both a fin drive pedal system or a prop drive pedal system and both fit right in the same hole of the kayak so if you go with the prop drive and you don't like it you can switch later on or if you have a preference of the fin drive over the prop drive whatever it is you can get exactly what you want on this kayak obviously it comes with tons of rails comes with flush mounted rod holders cup holders it does have a lot of storage again we're talking about a 13 foot kayak so tons of storage space uh, in the rear tank well it does have a smaller tank well in the bow, which I would prefer an enclosed hatch, but it's all good. It does have an under the seat storage and a dry storage behind the seat as well to keep some of those things that you don't want to get wet in there. And it has tackle storage on both sides of the seat. And the best part is that the Van Hunk Elite Pro Angler 13 comes in at just $1,445 for just the kayak and only $600 additional if you want to drive. And I know I said I only had seven kayaks, but I have a bonus kayak for you guys because it has a big weight capacity, but it's not a fishing kayak. So that's why I didn't make the official list. So the bonus kayak is the Crescent Crew. 
Now, Crescent is known for their Sholey. Uh, they also have a light tackle kayak option, so they have great kayaks, but the Crescent Crew is not a fishing kayak, so it doesn't come with the rails and the rod holders and everything, but as you know, that's easy enough to add on and customize as you want it. It is 13 feet long, 35 inches wide, has a hull weight of 79 pounds and a weight capacity of 600 pounds. So it is in the 600 pound club with the new canoe and the Van Hunk Elite Pro Angler. So it's definitely worth a mention. One cool feature that this kayak has is the fact that you can customize the seating arrangement. So you can have it where you're riding solo, you can make this a tandem kayak, or you can even do a two plus one situation with two main seats and a smaller bench for a smaller child. So you really can take out the family, you can take out the wife and the dog or whatever situation you want. It's definitely big enough to customize for your needs. So again, not a fishing kayak, but definitely worth a mention. And it comes in at just $1,199. And if you guys are interested in knowing my top 25 kayak fishing accessories, check out this video right here. Till next time, guys. Peace and God bless.